Hey guys, this is the Nerf Max Force Eagle Eye. It's actually pretty cool how they did the labeling on this one in that it's actually raised onto the plastic and the logo looks pretty cool. I like the Eagle Eye. The priming is interesting. It's bolt style priming and it shoots mega darts. What's interesting about the Eagle Eye is it shoots just as far as the laser fangs. Something about these single shot blasters that are vintage with lights integrated, they just work really well and it shoots very far. It shoots probably about 45 feet flat, which makes me think that singled, this could easily rival a night finder. It shoots very well and it's very loud. I am missing the top piece which houses the light up here, and if I had it, I'd come in and add some batteries into the bottom here so that I could show you how the light works, but there's not much point since I'm missing that part. It's an old style light bulb, which is amusing to a lot of us younger nerfers, because this is actually what things like Legos and Nerf guns used to have for lights as opposed to the LEDs that we're used to today. The priming is pretty comfortable with this bolt and then it's got a turn spring in it so that it snaps back into place. The trigger and handle are remarkably comfortable even with my adult sized hands which is a lot like the laser fang. These blasters were larger and more powerful and just work really well. It can be deep primed if you hold down the trigger while releasing it. It's a very quirky blaster and I feel like with proper mods and rebarreling a new spring and dead space removal, it could easily compete with the night finders of today. If I can find one of my slugs, I will attempt to use this barrel to re-barrel it quickly and show you how it performs with that. There we go. And those were not very good ranges at all. I think that the barrel is much too long, although the seal was pretty good. But this is the Vintage Nerf Eagle Eye. This was a gift given to me at the Nomne War by one of my fans who goes by Matt Truck on the forums, and I will link to his channel there. Thanks a ton for this gift. As cool a blaster as it is, I feel like I will probably break it down and salvage the handle for a project of mine later on and what I really want is the spring which I will add to my finger lock and load to make it even more powerful than it already is right now and the rest of you guys as always thanks for watching